Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And uh, let's take a closer look at some of these uh, hammerless spring tools. This one here is a Mayhew hammerless hinge pin remo remover. And this is where my journey into these things started. Um, I was doing some door painting and it's easier of course to pull the door off. Um, but you know, a lot of times what we'd end up doing when we want to remove a door is you know, you get a punch or a chisel or more than likely a screwdriver and you start whacking on the, the pin to release it and you end up scuffing things up you know, or hitting the door with the hammer or, you know, scraping. And uh, the hammerless pin remover basically uses a pin uh, on one end, I mean, uh, to punch the the, the uh, bolt out or the, the rod in the door hinge and a spring and a moving piece on the back that basically adds, you know, the force. F equals MA stuff. And what this does is it, uh, gives you a lot of control from just a tiny bit of extra force or a bunch of force and it's directed into a very small spot. So if I take this and insert it right in here into this, doesn't doesn't stick out very long. I could see that maybe being a problem depending on the hinge design, but uh, I can hold it off of my work surface or the door here and start popping that pin free until I can slide it out. Once it's out, I can take the door off. So it's that fast. Some pins are in pretty tight and uh, once you break them free, then they're really loose. And here's an example of that. This, I can give this a good shot, um, pops it free or put it back in here. And if I hit it hard, it's kind of a fun one, becomes a projectile. <laughs> Um, here's a stainless steel one, and this, uh, you can see, you know, I can just pop it till it shoots out. Obviously, I'm giving that a lot of extra juice, um, but of course, you can slow it way down to just tap it free till you want to slide that out. The other thing that these do, um, if we look at some different ones here that are um, made by the, uh, by the Spring Tool Company, springtools.com, I guess, is there. Um, I got them at a hardware store, but they come in with all kinds of different tips. Tips for marking, you know, for scoring some metal or for, uh, um, you know, marking a spot in wood. This one's designed to drive nails, small nails. I'll show you that one. This one's kind of cool. It's a chisel. I'll get to that. This basically is a hammer. Um, it's got both a uh, little bit of a holder there. You can reverse it and smash with the flat side as well. In fact, you can with all these. You know, it doesn't matter which way, it's the same force inside. This one, as you see, kind of neat. It has a recessing pin, so you could put it flat up against something, you know, whoops, to uh, uh, pop something free. If you've got a little pin that needs some extra force, uh, same with this one here that's got the recessing um, striking area. This would be a good one to use, say here, you can just push down and it automatically kind of centers that that spot. Give it a whack and there's a nice centered hole. Beautiful, look at that. So, all sorts of uses. This is an interesting one. If you, you know, do anything with door hinges, you notice a lot of times you got to kind of cut just around the corners or, or dig them just a hair deeper. Maybe the door is not hanging straight. Maybe it's got some too much humidity. It doesn't fit right. So this here is a chisel, but instead of, of course, you know, hitting it with a hammer, what you can do is very carefully chisel into the wood, you know, to dig out what it is that you're um, trying to get rid of. Um, it also is great for just kind of scoring an edge. So if I wanted to, um, you know, just open this up a little bit, literally I can, you know, mark where I need to go along the edge here, I'll do it on this one, you know, to, to mark the area. And then I can, once this is off, I can cut through. It's a, it's just an interesting tool. Uh, very simple design. There's lots of options. There's more than this. You can buy them in sets. You can buy them individually. There are other companies. But this Mayhew that started me on this kind of idea just thought that's such a nice, simple solution. If you do much with doors, you know, that's a good, good option. And then kind of got the bug and thought all of these other ways you can use 
a hammer tool. Here, let's try that nail one. Got a little braided nail or small. Actually, that's a larger one, but here we go. Holding it. You know, just started it. Here's a little smaller nail. Obviously, even tinier nails would probably be easier. Hold that. Got it started. So this does allow you, um, you know, kind of some interesting options to, if you're trying to get things started. Maybe you don't have quite the, quite the room uh, to, uh, you know, get a hammer in there to set it. Um, might be able to do this. Whoops, kind of flying all over the place here with this guy. It's because my work surface is moving around. But anyway, spring tools. I'm sure you have more experience than I do with these, so share that in the comments. Uh, if there's an indispensable one, one I'm missing that I really should have, or I've seen other people use these now that I know what it is, um, they're much more common than I thought. But anyway, let me know. With that, Doc out.